100% analog, fully packed with some awesome features. This is the Supreme Soaker. I'm Mario from Palmer. Let's dive in. Well, the Supreme Soaker is for all YouTube amp lovers out there. It basically incorporates all Palmer products from the past 40 years into one single box. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour through the Supreme Soaker and tell you why it is a great addition to your analog tube amp setup. But first, let me tell you how we got here and why we built the Supreme Soaker. The Supreme Soaker pays tribute to one of our earliest and most prominent products from the 80s, the PDI-03. Some might call it the PD-103. It is a speaker simulator, which sound can be found on many big albums and many artists and bands like to use it. Linkin Park, Eddie Van Halen, The Black Keys, Rush, Mike Landau and Joe Bonamassa, just to name a few. And from this PDI-03, a whole myriad of other products were developed. In the past 40 years, the Palmer team here in Germany not only made speaker simulators, but we also developed attenuators, tube amps, DI boxes, mergers, mixers, and the Supreme Soaker is now a combination of an attenuator, a load box, a speaker simulator with a mic input, an effects loop, a headphone amp, and a speaker tone modifier. And all of this is analog circuitry. Supreme Soaker is an all analog dynamic tube amp hub, which is perfect for you if you want to record or perform live with your tube amp and keep your signal flow all analog. All right, let's dive into the Supreme Soaker, starting with the attenuator. Why would you need an attenuator? As you might know, tube amplifiers are very loud. Even 5 watts of power can be very loud. Playing a tube amplifier at maximum or near maximum is just where it sounds the best. That's where you get the additional tube amp saturation and your amp starts to sing. As fun as it is, it not only harms your ears, but also your relationship to your neighbors. And when playing live, driving up the stage volume makes it very difficult for sound technicians to get a good sounding stage. Well, unfortunately for us tube amp players, it's not an option to turn the master volume down. And that's why we need an attenuator. An attenuator basically allows you to drive your amp at full output, taking some of the power, converting it into heat, and only letting a little bit of power through to your speaker. That way, you can still use your amplifier at maximum output and still get all those beautiful tube saturated tones. And keeping your overall volume at stage level, at room level, or even less. But I'm sure that most of you watching this already know. The attenuator in the Supreme Soaker is a reactive one. It has six steps of attenuation plus a full attenuation. And it takes amps up to 150 watts of tube amp power, which should be enough for most tube amps out there. So let's hear the attenuator. In this case, I am playing through a 35 watt two rock sensor with two 6L6 tubes in the power section. Just for your info, in the room the audio will get quieter, but on a recording we will normalize the audio so you will always hear the same volume, only the sound change from one step to the other. Alright, let's hear the Supreme Soaker without any attenuation. <laughs> Let's hear the attenuation on step number one. There are a further three steps of attenuation to go which will lower the output level and allow you to push your output tubes even more. At step 6, this is bedroom level. Even my guitar is almost acoustically louder than the sound coming out of the speaker. Well, next step is full attenuation mode, also known as load box mode. In this setting, you will hear nothing. Your amp is still alive and running. Why would you want to use this? Well, because it's perfect if you want to record your tube amp into your DAW, or if you want to get a silent stage set up and send your sound directly to front of house without the need to mic up your amp on stage. But on the output you will hear a dry, saturated tube amp sound, which sounds like this. To 
most ears this will sound harsh, characterless or even unpleasing. Some artists and engineers might like this sound and for some it's just not their style. Especially when the sound gets saturated and that's when the speaker simulator comes in. But before we talk about the speaker simulator, it's important for you to know that your amp is always safe when plugged into the Supreme Soaker, even when it's turned off. Your amp will always see a load when it's connected to the Supreme Soaker and that way you don't need to worry, your amp is safe. Okay, speaker simulator. The speaker simulator is an analog filter that replicates the frequency response of a guitar cabinet on the line out and the headphone out of the Supreme Soaker. That way you get that guitar sound that we all know and love. The real advantage of the speaker simulator is that very immediate attack that it gives you. No matter how reverberant the room is, how the mics are hearing the cabinet at that particular day or at that particular location, the speaker simulator gives you always the most consistent sound that you can get. On the Supreme Soaker, the speaker simulator is called Line EQ. You get five different settings plus a bypass. You will get your sound on the balance outputs on the back and on the headphone out on the front. So let's hear that. We are on Memphis. <laughs> As you might have heard, these were five different sounds that you can use to your own style and taste. Sometimes you need a little bit more of a cutting sound and some fizziness on the top end frequencies to cut through the mix or through the band. In this case, we have added a switch so you can switch between hard and soft tones. Let's listen to the Memphis setting of the Line EQ combined with a hard tone. <laughs> two ways sound engineers and artists like to use their analog speaker simulators like the PDI-09, the PDI-03 and the newer ILM. First, they'd stick it in the back of your cabinet and always have an option to get a mic'd cabinet sound without the need to mic up your amp. This is very handy when the stage is too loud, too busy and when there's simply no time to sound check. The second way how sound engineers like to use analog speaker simulators is by just blending a little bit of speaker simulator into the mic'd up sound. That way they get more directness and the tone is just a little bit more in your face. And that's why we've added a microphone input into the Supreme Soaker. Mix it with a direct signal, adjust as you like and if phase cancellation occurs we have a switch to tackle just that and switch polarity. Also to mention, there's a 48 volt phantom power if you want to feed a condenser microphone and a 20 dB pad switch for hollow line signals. Alright, let's turn our blend knob entirely to the microphone position and let's hear how the microphone sounds on its own. Now let's hear the speaker simulator again. Now let's add a little bit of microphone signal into the speaker simulator. Now let's do the opposite and blend a little bit of speaker simulator into the microphone signal. Just right at 3 o'clock. And 
that is how many sounds you can get out of Supreme Soaker using the microphone input. So we are not quite at the end of our tone shaping journey with the Supreme Soaker. Here's another cool feature we call speaker tone, which has to do with your actual guitar loudspeaker. With the speaker tone on the Supreme Soaker, you can change the sound of your guitar loudspeaker. Basically, your amp sees different impedances, causing your loudspeaker to react differently. Let's hear how it sounds over our 1x12 Palmer cabinet with an open back and a cream back inside. Speaker tone on bypass setting, that's how your speaker actually sounds. Imagine how many sounds you can get if you mic up your cabinet, feed it back to the Supreme Soaker and blend it to the speaker simulator. The effect of the speaker tone varies from loudspeaker to loudspeaker and from amp to amp. But the speaker tone is also very handy if you need to change the high frequency beam of your loudspeaker. Just select another speaker tone and see how the beam angle changes. For pedal lovers, we have embedded an effects loop which can be used in stereo and mono. Yes, we have added an effects loop to the Supreme Soaker, which you can run all your effects, post, your speaker simulator and your microphone input, which allows you to enjoy your tube amp saturated sounds with the luscious reverb and the coolest delays, and also to build layers of layers of loops without getting too much of a muddled overdrive. Let's hear that in action and add a looper pedal to it. This isn't even all you can do with the Supreme Soaker. There are so many options for a tube amp guitar player, whether you're recording live, in the studio or at home. The Supreme Soaker is a great analog extension to your tube amp setup. I'm Mario from Palmer, this is Supreme Soaker. Stay tuned for more Supreme Soaker content and stay true to your sound. Bye.